So you're not waiting for menus. Speaking of smart, tell me about the Samsung Smart PC I got listed here. So over the weekend, I made an impulse buy. Oh no! What well, this is a hell of an impulse buy? <laughs> well, holy and, crap! And, 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 I felt guilty of dropping the 200 on a Nexus. Well, here's the thing. So the device's end of life. It was clearanced. Okay. Forty percent off. Okay. And it was open boxed an additional twenty percent. Okay. So at that point in time, I was like. I could almost, I can justify this. Okay. So I've, I've, I started playing around with it. I started playing around with this it for work. This is the, and this is the uh, 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 Samsung Smart PC 500T, it looks yep. like. So the device I have, oh. I can actually pull. Hold on, where are you at? Right there. So I can actually. Wait, is this it? Pull it apart. Oh, is it? This is it. Oh, it's a laptop and a tablet all in one. Oh, geez. <laughs> Plus, I can run full fledged Windows apps, unlike the RT device that I have. So, so it's like you have a Surface Pro full with a keyboard. It's like I have a Surface Pro with the keyboard attachment. The difference being this runs the Atom processor. OK. And the Pro runs like a full fledged Okay, but still, I you're not running the RT edition. It, it's still lower end. You're not going right. to be running games on this, but this is going to get most of the stuff done. Uh, it, it work, so far, it's worked out perfect for anything I wanted to do. I loaded Chrome on it, which you mm -hmm. can't do on the RT. Mm -hmm. I've, I've loaded a lot of useful, useful utilities on it. I'm not going to lie. It is a bit sluggish, mm -hmm. but RT has come a long way with um, 8.1. Mm -hmm. And I'm expecting this to device to actually do the same. Okay. Samsung will be releasing their next version of this within, I think, the next month or two. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that's why everyone was trying to now, liquidate now, the device. Show show us the, the the other side of it. Yeah, hold it up a little bit there. So so I love that you have its own product page on its on its on its screen. Well, I actually followed the link off okay. of our notes. All right. <laughs> Uh, so really, the keyboard doesn't really have a lot of technology in it. Like that so, bottom the keyboard part. actually adds an additional two USB ports. Okay, I mean, other than there you have connectors, you have keyboard, but there's not actual running hardware in there. The the thing that I can't figure out yet, and I don't think it it, it does. I don't know if it adds to the battery life. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I don't think it does. I don't think there's an additional battery mm -hmm. in the keyboard piece. Um, <clears throat> Now, the, the part that I was impressed with, too, was in the top part, I have micro SD card slot, additional USB port, combo headphone, microphone um, jack, a microphone mic, uh, rotation lock, power. I have H mini HDMI, volume up and down, mm -hmm. and I have built it has built in stereo speakers. Wow. So for, for like a work type device. I mean, even if you were doing spreadsheets and stuff like that, as long as you're not gaming, I've been pretty impressed. Oh, and by the way, eight hours of battery life. Jeez. So I haven't plugged it in. I haven't plugged it in since since I left work. And we've been we've been doing tech stuff for I don't know how long now. Yeah. Since at least probably five thirty. It's twenty to eight. And I'm at 74% power. That's awesome. <laughs> so for me, like this is like a perfect work type device where I don't have to worry about, oh, what did I, what's on my MacBook? What's, what's on this device? This is going to kind of be my dedicated, hopefully, like social media slash work. I can just do what I want on it. And it's, it's, a, it's more meant for trying to get stuff done. I'm not. I'm gonna try not to load, pretty much any game. <clears throat> I don't think it could. Well, really? I loaded. Um, so the RT I loaded, uh, Halo Assault, mm -hmm. plays really well, and because I bought it out of the Microsoft Store, I could load it on here. I just wanted to see if they would actually charge me again. Going from an RT edition to a full fledged Windows edition, they didn't. That's good. So That's I, good. it's loaded on here. There, there's a pinball game that came on here. I, I, I unloaded that. Now, the one thing I will say that you definitely lose by not going with the Microsoft device is so the Microsoft Surface, whether it's the Surface Pro or RT, you get all your updates automatically through Windows Update. Really? So firmware, video drivers, everything come down just like any other patch. Yeah. 
it's, that, because it's coming from them anyways. Because it's coming from them anyways. In this, I I didn't realize till today that um, Samsung put a special app on here called the Samsung Updater. So that's how, and at least I don't have to go and search and scour their site for updated yeah. drivers. Yeah. I get, their app notifies me, but now I'm going to. But well, you're not even getting Windows 8 system updates? Yes. On the system? Okay, you get the general I get, thing. I get the general Windows updates from Microsoft, and, and then I get the Samsung hardware oh, and Samsung well, software sense. updates. That makes but, sense. But I, I like the Surface mm -hmm. in the aspect of I don't have to go to places to get driver updates but it's it, like owning a mac but, okay. or an android device well that's the thing you, you you you've upgraded to this experience that matches everybody else that's updated you know mac i get it all in one place uh, the phones the android devices mostly um so this is the way windows has always been though you've but always the, had that is, but they're, they're trying updated. but they're trying to reimagine themselves yeah, yeah. as this but you're gonna find and i think this is where microsoft is going to run into this it looks a lot like android doesn't it where you're going to have this fight with Samsung. You know, you're going to fight with... But Dell. at least on the Samsung yeah. device, I don't have to worry about going out to to Samsung's site to get the latest Android version. Mm -hmm. I get a notification on the device. It says, hey, we deployed... Yeah, but we that's, deployed that's all hand shook through Samsung already anyways, because they have to sign off on the updates. Yeah. So... But, but they control the hardware. Yeah, right. I understand. But th I guess they're more in control of the OS on those yeah, devices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not receiving anything directly from Google at that point. But here, and, I, and I've and i seen it happen before, and, and I did get an update today that was from, from a manufacturer or whatever. I think it was the – Wacom makes the, the touch interface on this. Oh, it also has a stylus pen. It has the S pen like you see on other Samsung devices. Okay. Um. But they, Wacom, I actually got the driver updates from Microsoft. So why can't Samsung submit their driver updates into Microsoft Store? <laughs> you used to be able to. You used to get a lot of those drivers through Windows Update. I don't know if that's still the case with a lot of more general stuff. I don't know what just went off. Um, <laughs> I have all kinds of devices pinging over here. Uh, so uh, I just want a one-stop shop for my updates. Yeah. I, I don't think it's too yeah. much to ask for. I think... Microsoft could figure out a way to do it. Yeah. Uh, I think they have other priorities they have to get through right now. <laughs> uh, let's see.